All right, it's been about almost five weeks since uh, since my last update. We have we're, we're landed in the house. We've been here since pretty much December thirtieth. Lots happened. A lot of a lot of stories. A lot of things. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drink my my Michigan beer from Big Lick Brewing, the Amber. I'm gonna take you down take you down a little story. All right, so we've got the X-Cat. So our cat catamaran selling dreams are coming true. Oh, there's, there's a special guest star, Trevor Robinson. I'm taking my, taking my video. So we've got our, we've got our X-Cat. Oh, you're, you're gonna ruin the money shot. That's gonna be real, you're ruining it all. Um, so we got our X cat, got it stored, got it broken down. Also, we have a lot of boxes. We have a lot of boxes, a lot of boxes. We need to get that fixed. All right, so it's cold. It's currently 11 degrees and it's snowing. It's been snowing since Thursday night. So, it's a lot of snow. A lot of snow. And you may see that there is a, protein, a propane tank in our front yard. How did that happen, Matt? Well, let me tell you a story. So, we just survived a three-week propane crisis. We called... Our propane company and they were like oh it's gonna take you like seven to ten business days to get propane and we're like that's weird wow and so we went into a, a major conserve energy mode we brought the temp in the house down to 55 degrees at one point in those last final days and it was extremely miserable Trevor and I were sleeping in the sunroom with the French doors closed with space heaters to try to survive in our own home because this, uh, this company, Feral Gas, claimed that they were having supply issues. They, they did not even have drivers to deliver propane due to high demand from COVID, which that doesn't pass the smell test. Well, guess what? They filed for chapter, chapter 11 bankruptcy two weeks ago. So as you can see, there's their tank, and now we have the new tank, because another company, Crystal Flash, saved us. We were like, hey, are you having supply issues due to COVID? And they were like, no, we can have you a completely full tank within two days, not two weeks. So we survived that crisis. It's a lot of snow that. I need my snowshoes. Jesus. It's cold. Oh, Jesus. This is really deep. So let me tell you, tell you the other story. The other story is that Friday morning, we awoke and our back door was open. Why was our back door open? Our back door was open from the wind of the storm. And we come to find out that the French doors here, the uh, locking mechanism was broken. So we wake up, these doors are wide open from the wind. Well, we're missing a dog. Quig got out. We don't know at what point he got out. But we, what we did see in the backyard, the unfenced wilderness, saw paw prints. And uh, we were in worst case disaster scenario. And what we decided was, all right, I guess we're just gonna follow these paw prints into the wilderness. It's probably gonna take two hours. We're gonna find Quid. 
shivering, huddled underneath a, a tree, close to death. Well, he, uh, he walked around the perimeter of the backyard. We followed his footsteps back to the front yard. That's where I'm retracing these steps. We're walking up through here. That is really deep. So we're calling for Quid. Quid, where are you? We get here and the paw prints stop because the guy who plows our driveway had just plowed our driveway an hour before. So we're walking through here. Trevor, Trevor turns to the left, he goes down our driveway. I turn to the right and I see some paw prints. And Quid, guess where Quid's at? Quid was on the front porch. I'm like, you dumb dog. So he decided that it was too cold and he was ready to come back inside. And so that just happened Friday morning. Whew. So we have survived Quid escaping. We have our ex cat. We survived our propane crisis that went on for like two or three weeks. It's been snowing since Thursday. I've got to get the snowshoes out. That's about it. we got our generator system uh, all wired. Everything looking good. And uh, just buying more stuff. That's it.